Pelé quase matou Silvestre Stallone com uma bola de futebol. I'm standing the goal, my knees are knocking and all that, but I'm trying to put up a front and all that because I have a little money on the line. So he kicks the ball, the first one goes over the net, then he gets a bead on me, he kicks the second one, it crumbs right past my hands, whips past the net, over the bar, hits, and behind me is this building. It's like a World War II prisoner of war barracks. It's heavy metal mesh, I mean thick, the kind of things that would hold back a truck. Smashes through the mesh, rips through the windows, breaks out all the frames, goes into the house, I said, that could have been my face. I mean, that could have been my jaw, my chest, my arm. I said, from then on, I said, thank you very much. It's all yours. See you around. O soccer ball estava sendo disputado nos Estados Unidos. E o rei, junto com o protagonista de rock, eram os convidados de honra do importante evento esportivo. It's an orante do nascimento. It's good to see you. Did I say it right? My pleasure. It's very nice to be here with you. This, of course, is the immortal, truly immortal in this sport, Pele. Pele, what did you think of the first half? I, I like the way Cosmo play. You know, it's very hard to play against a team who play all back. You see, Fort Lauderdale, sometimes they come 11 players back, and they try, I think, to keep the result uh, tight the first half because it's a little hot. Maybe now in the second half they come more forward. Okay, I understand you are now a movie star, Pele. You made a, made a picture, right? Yes, yeah, so we made a picture in, in Budapest, and uh, the film uh, should be released very soon. And uh, I have a luck to be between uh, the biggest team in the world and the move star in yeah. the scene. <laughs> well, I understand you made a new friend making that picture, Sylvester Stallone. Sly, would you come in for a minute and join us? Sylvester Stallone. How are you? I've been sure you've been made aware that Ray Hudson, the captain of Fort Lauderdale, is known as Rocky. Yes, I met him yesterday, and I thought it was kind of a coincidence. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm sure hope they go the distance and all that. But I've, I've learned so much about this game and the way they're playing in the heat and everything. And uh, Fort Lauderdale is playing a very aggressive game, so it's quite interesting to watch. And I was so ignorant about this game up until I met Pelé about uh, 18 weeks ago. Pelé tinha se juntado a um elenco cheio de estrelas, do cacife de Stallone e Michael Caine para gravar Fuga para a Vitória. E foi ali que aconteceu uma anedota que o protagonista de Rambo não pôde esquecer. I guess some of the some people know that it looks like a cannonball. It's very, very, it's dark, it's menacing, it's heavy. So you hit the water. And the shoes they wore back then had steel tips. Today they would kill you, literally break your leg. I mean, that's how heavy they were. So Pele's there, I go, yeah, I've heard of you. And he goes, I go, um, I'm gonna play the goalie. He goes, really? Have you ever done it? I go, no. I go, okay. You stand here in the goal. I'm going to put the ball right there. I'm going to stand there. There's nothing you can do about it. I go, yeah, right. So he kicks the first one, and I go, okay. And I heard this. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, what <laughs> is that? And it's a, it's a, it's a old net, so it's aged. It's supposed to look like World War II. Okay, here we go. Do that again. And now he goes, I want to put it right there. <laughs> Sure you are. He goes, this time I managed to get my hand out. You broke your finger. He broke his finger. Baboom, went past my hand, broke the finger, tore a hole through the net, and shut the barracks windows that were covered in wire mesh. <laughs> and I went, I'll never say that again. Para Pelé, a experiência foi tão emocionante quanto para Stallone. Só que ele não saiu com o um dedo quebrado. Apenas quebrou parte do cenário e nada mais. Foi fantástico para mim, porque eu tive a oportunidade de aprender um pouco sobre a performance, não só sobre o futebol, porque naquele momento, não sei se as pessoas sabem, Silvestre Stallone, He should be the, 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 the center forward because uh, he should be the, 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 the player who scored the goal and escape. But uh, Sylvester Alonso doesn't know how, 
Did you know how to make the bicycle kick? <laughs> <laughs> you showed him how to do yeah. the bicycle kick. Yeah, he went to the goalkeeper. I, I did the bicycle kick. It was a fantastic experience for me. Is it true that he tried to save one of your goals and he broke his finger? Yeah. You broke his finger? No, this wasn't in a preparation, a tournament, you know. He okay. has a problem with his finger. But it uh, was, was good. John Houston helped her a lot, you know, because he was like a coach, you know, teaching us. Was a, good a verdade é que quando essas duas lendas se conheceram, nasceu uma infinidade de anedotas que ninguém poderá esquecer. E claro, cada um deles entrou no mundo do outro e soube o que significa ser um ator e o que significa se tornar um jogador de futebol, mesmo que fosse para um filme. E isso é algo que Sylvester Stallone guardará por toda a sua vida. There's Pele doing the bicycle kick. This is amazing. Now, it goes so quickly here, it seems like a microsecond, but when you see it slow down, what he does in the air is, is something that many gymnasts cannot do. He's the only man in the world that can do it, probably, and it's just, it just was amazing to watch it. And I, I really consider myself privileged. He's no, really a genius of the sport, a genius of the sport.